Asian American visual artist, painter of color and life. My work consists of reflections of me. My mom is American, my dad is Haitian, so my work reflects that duality of having both cultures. As I said, my work is a reflection of me, so um, my work consists of a lot of natural hair art because I am a natural, so my work reflects the parts of me that accept myself and it's of self-acceptance, so you will see Black art, black family, black love, those are themes that are very prevalent in my work. Also for my Haitian art pieces, you will see everyday people, people dancing, people working, people uh, playing music. These are things that I want to express in the culture and pride in the culture. So these are the themes that are constant in my work. I also have themes that show different nationalities of people. So my work also strongly expresses diversity and acceptance of other cultures. This gift came from God. He is the master artist and he put this gift in me. It was dormant for many years. I didn't start painting until my late 20s and I just did it as a hobby. And I had no idea I even had this ability to create, to paint. So I give the credit to God completely and totally for being able to let me be able to discover this gift that I had inside of me and to let me be able to express it and share it with the world. Because if it were to me, I would just have them in a corner in a closet. But God put it in me and gave me the platform to be able to present my work to the world. I am a self-taught, well, I like to say God-taught artist. Like I said, he, he was the one who gave me the gift. He helped me to cultivate this gift. I saw someone painting on PBS and I said, hmm, I think I can paint that too. I went out and I purchased her materials, Donna DuBerry. I purchased her materials, her books, her videos, and I just started to paint. I painted everything that she had. I just threw myself into it and I painted just as a hobby. It was fun to do. I, was, I always liked being creative as a child, but I never developed. I never painted. And when I saw her work, I started to practice her techniques and I started, that was my foundation for creating, for painting. And I just continued to build from there. And from there I got books, I went to the library, I went on YouTube. These were very uh, great resources for me to learn techniques and how to paint and how to experiment. And after a while of painting her techniques, I realized that I didn't have a style of my own. And I just prayed, I asked God, I said, Lord, please give me my own style. Give me my own style. Give me my own way of expressing. And a couple of years later, after I started her techniques, I started painting these women, these faceless women. And I was experimenting. I was trying to find my way. I would paint still life. I painted portraits. I painted anything, animals just to find me. And when I painted these women one day, and I continued to paint them, and they just resonated with me and resonated with other people when I showed them my work, they were really drawn to these women. And these were not even my primary focus were to be these women because I was so caught up in trying to paint realistic and to try to be more uh, to life. But I kept drawing these faceless women, and these women just resonated with me and I just continued to paint them and they are now the signature piece of Bolina Wright art. It's my family. My family. I want to be the best me for them to follow my dreams and I take care of them of course but they love me enough to let me follow my dreams as well as to love on them. So my family is definitely a huge motivator. My husband is a huge, my biggest fan, my hugest supporter, my sister, my parents, and my family and friends, and my children are my big supporters, and they are proud of me and can encourage me to continue to work. So I do what I do. I go so hard for them because I want to make myself proud and to make them proud and also to provide for them. So they definitely are my driving force. Take from this experience with this exhibition is to 
see the beauty of the cultures. We see the beauty of the Haitian people, the resilience, and the pride, and the just tenacity to continue despite of obstacles. That's why in African American culture as well too. To have so many obstacles set against you, to still rise above it, and it's still an ongoing battle for both cultures. But I want to show the beauty, the color. website is berightart.com, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at berightart, Facebook, berightart, by the Lima, right?